This is from Jenny in Ohio. I love your show and appreciate your advice. I recently received my homeowners and car insurance policies for payment, and I noticed both went up substantially. My home is up 17% and the car insurance is up to just about 10% per year. We use an independent agent for coverage, and that may be where I'm going wrong. We have been with them since 2021 and have never had a claim with them and only minor claims with our previous company. Should I stop working with an independent agent or is this just all about inflation? My paycheck just can't keep up with this increase plus all the others. So Jenny, um, this is going to be weird. It's going to sound like I'm being flippant. The increases that you're facing at 17 and 10% are much lower than we've been hearing from other people. So there are multiple factors going on at the same time. Your auto, the auto was 10, right? Or was it homeowners it was 10? Uh, it was the home that was 17%. Yeah, and the homeowner. Uh, the, the auto was 10. 10. So we're hearing reports uh, where people's auto is going up 40% at renewal, 40%. The, the auto insurers have been losing money like crazy because the cost of repairing vehicles has gone up if cars totaled the cost that the vehicle uh, represents current value in the used marketplace is so much higher than it was the auto insurers are really taking it on the chin and so the increases happening have been so large and ironically enough i've been encouraging people to go to independent agents that can shop multiple companies you're actually in the right place um, homeowners. The homeowner's insurance has gone up because we've had an escalation in the value of homes. They're going to go sideways or level out for a number of years moving forward because home prices have outstripped people's ability to afford them. So we're not going to see these rapid increases in home values moving forward. But there's some catch up going on in the homeowner's insurance market. Plus, We've had an increase in storms of various types, uh, floods, hurricanes, uh, fires, all these things. So it's a tough time to be in the insurance business. And the increases you're seeing are not out of the ordinary of what's going on in the marketplace. One thing I'd look at is what's your deductible on your homeowner's insurance? This is something I'm encouraging all homeowners to do is raise your deductible. Your risk profile to the insurer drops, your premiums drop. Just make sure that the deductible rise you do does not exceed, if you have a mortgage on your home, what your mortgage lender permits. But raising that deductible should save you potentially 30% on your homeowner's insurance policy. And it takes away the temptation of any small claims. Never Never, not ever make what is considered to be a nuisance claim on homeowners or auto insurance. The insurers, you could have a tiny claim or a giant claim. You're treated the same as having made a claim, and that is a difficult mark you don't want to have.